The following is a clip from a live episode of NYY Recaps. Enjoy. We have to spend some time talking about accountability, which is something we don't always see from Aaron Boone. And he finally benched Glaber Torres tonight. It was 3-2. Glaber Torres smoked one to left field off the wall, turned a double into a single by not hustling. And then he couldn't score when Volpe ripped one into the corner. Cost the Yankees an important run at that time of the game. Now, TK, I guarantee that keeping Glaber Torres on this team is a huge mistake. That run, not scoring, is a direct result of him not hustling and trying to, you know, pimp a home run that didn't go out of the ballpark. I got no problem pimping a home run. You know, Jazz Chisholm pimped a home run the other day. But if it goes 20 rows deep, you can pimp the home run. If it's hitting the wall, I, don't want, I, want, you, I want you running out of the box. Uh, he ended up getting pulled from the game. You could see him pleading his case with Aaron Boone. Boone was not having it at all. Get off my bridge. And keeping him on this roster is going to kill the Yankees in a big spot. I guarantee it. Got any thoughts on Glaber? Yeah, that was – that sucked. Um, look, Aaron Judge hit one – what was it, 477 tonight? Yeah. You hit one like that, you can pimp it. He never right. does, but you can pimp it. Uh, Juan Soto's pimped it a few times. But, yeah, like you said, if – if you're especially those line drive home runs, you can't pimp those. Only Stanton really can because yeah. when he hits them, they stay hit. But especially Glaber Torres in a contract year, having the season that he's having, Michael K made this point on the broadcast, but like you got to be giving it everything because he's lost hundreds of millions of dollars probably uh, during this season. He's lost a lot of money. So you got to, and he's going to end up signing a prove a deal. I'm, I'm, I can guarantee it, but absolutely, I was very vocal before the trade deadline. I was like, can we trade him for something like an arm, please? Like I wanted him off the team. Now, if this doesn't get his act together, this like very public, cause this is probably the most public benching or public sort of embarrassing a player that I've ever seen Aaron Boone do in his tenure as Yankee manager. So if this doesn't get Glaber to be like, man, I really kind of have to get it together a little bit here, nothing will. And it's really hard to have like leash with him because I'm all out of leash with him. I I, I just don't even know what you do at this point. Like you say, I, I they could DFA him because they're going to lose him at the end of the season for nothing anyway. I guess maybe yeah. when they activate Birdie, they would do that. They would consider that because really, what are you losing on offense with Birdie? Right. He's a better, better defender and he has more versatility as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're going to DFA him. I would 100% support it, though, if they did. I'm not one yeah. of those guys that's like, you know, when George was alive, he would have done this, he would have done that. But this is one of those situations where George Steinbrenner would not have stood for this. There would have been a call made to the dugout, and Aaron Boone would have picked it up, and Steinbrenner would have been on the other end of the line. He would have said, get that guy off the field, get him out of the clubhouse. And it's unacceptable to stand there and watch the ball when it stays in the ballpark. I'm glad to see that there was finally some accountability from Aaron Boone. But, yeah, I mean, a benching might not be good enough. I mean, we got two months left. Obviously, he can be a dangerous bat. I mean, the thing that led to this was he hit a ball 110 miles an hour, basically, off the wall. I didn't see the exit velocity, but I'm guessing. It was smoked. The guy's got talent, but he's been the worst second baseman in the league. We have to endure base running blunder after base running blunder after base running blunder. He can't turn a double play at second base. I know it sounds like I'm riffing and I'm just kind of dissing the guy, but, I mean, we've been putting up with this for long enough. The guy needs to get his act together. He's not a kid anymore. He's, like, what, 26, 27 years old? I mean, he's a grown man. you got to have some accountability. I think he was 21 in 2018, I think, which was his rookie year. Um, but, yeah, no, he's he's a grown man now, He should, and he's been here long enough to know better. Um it's really frustrating to watch. The only kind of um, comfort I take into the situation is that he won't be on the team next year. And uh, Jazz, that guy who's been here five minutes, who's willing to looks like he's willing to kind of give everything to this team, including yep. his body. Um, and he'll slide over very nicely at second next season. Um, they have him there at third. Good to know that he he looks pretty good there. Uh, we can get into that later, but he looks pretty good. Uh, nice to see his versatility. But he'll slide yeah. in perfectly at second next year, and Glaber won't be on the team. Boom. There yeah. you go. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps other fans find the channel. NYY Recaps is also available on all your favorite podcast platforms. And we'll see you next time.